I just want to do a quick video as to what the upgrades were that I made to my Shape Oco or the modifications. Um, started out with the original uh, Shape Oco. Uh, had an initial cutting bed of 8 inches by 8 inches almost. Um, that was the first limitation that I found in wanting to do multiple projects bigger as it was a bigger cutting area. So I ended up upgrading to the uh, longer maker slide rails. Um, and once I did that, then I started noticing the same thing that multiple people said was the uh, rigidity of the gantry. So I ended up initially trying to modify the end plates or the motor mounts from the original one and ended up deciding that it was easiest just to buy these other ones. Um, and so I ended up buying three of them, which you can see here. Um, I did upgrade to the uh, a second stepper motor as well. So I've got one on each side of the x-axis here. Um, so let's see, I upgraded the, so I upgraded the gantry. So this other maker slide was just from the uh, other X axis that I ended up not using. I've got another one lying around here uh, from the original Shape Oco. Uh, and then from there, I upgraded, I made the upgrade to the uh, DeWalt DW660 router, trim router, which was super loud. Uh, and then wanted to present at uh, Maker Faire here in Salt Lake City. So I threw a GoFundMe campaign out there and ended up raising half the money for the upgraded uh, Quiet Spindle, which is super sweet. Um, that's what this uh, enclosure is that I made for everything. So I've got everything I need in there for all of my electronics uh, for the entire CNC machine in a portable box. Um, um, for the motor, for the uh, belt hold downs, there was an old coworker of mine had a 3D printer, and so I printed off some of the uh, belt mounts that I found on Thingiverse. Um, they were a little too wide off of his printer, so I ended up ha having to cut out the side of one so that the V groove wheel. And actually come down and not run into it, not cause any interference. Uh, for the other ends, I didn't really care too much, so I just used, reused the existing mounts that I had on the end. Um, and they end up not really interfering too much because, because the uh, stepper motor, the belt ends up back up in there a ways which doesn't interfere with the uh, tie downs here, the zip ties. So, uh, a few other modifications that I plan on in the future is, well, longer gantry so that I can extend the bed out a little bit further. And same coworker had some, uh, I printed off some thumb wheels for the servo mounts, for the servos. Um, I think that's about it that I've done so far. So, anyway, enjoy.